morning thank you very much for joining me i hope everybody's well today we are talking skincare over 50 skincare i don't know how long it is exactly since i've done a skincare routine video but i've been asked a couple of times lately for an updated skincare routine so here it is so without further ado let's get straight into it i will link everything i talk about as far as i can in the description box below so if you want any more information please do click through from there um I should also say I am no skincare expert. I'm interested in skincare. I don't love it as much as I love my makeup, but I do like skincare and skincare is the base on which we paint. I don't know, it's the easel that we paint with. I'm going down a metaphor that I just don't know where I'm going with that at all. I kind of knew what I meant, but it wasn't coming out in the way it was meant to let's just leave that one shall we right so let's start with my morning routine my morning skincare routine and i tend to start the day with a scrub which sounds more scrubby than it actually is um, this is the l'oreal smooth sugars wake up scrub i've talked about this before regular viewers will know that i like this range they also have the other one i like in this range is the glow scrub which reminds me very much of a product by fresh but for about a third of the price um, that's what that one looks like this is very heavily coffee flavored so if you don't like coffee you won't like the wake up scrub um but I quite like this. It gives me a bit of a morning lift, which I guess is the idea of it, isn't it? That's why it's called the wake up scrub. And it's sort of a gel texture with um, scrubby bits inside. These are actually coffee grounds, I think, inside it. Um, and some sugars as well. So it's not too scrubby on your skin. It doesn't feel like those. Do you remember those old apricot kernel scrubs that we were all into in the 90s was it it's not like that it's a very gentle one so i tend to just smooth that all over my face and then wash it off um to wash it off i use these cloths i buy these in packs of four from amazon um they i, I used to use normal face flannels but they're heavy and they retain the water and i feel like they need washing more often than these these are very lightweight almost sort of microfiber and i also find that these take makeup off well but we'll come to that um later in the video but yeah i just rinse it off with one of these and then i move on to my next st step which is generally a little spritz of this i this is body shop vitamin e aqua boost essence lotion i call it vitamin e toner um i love this product this is one of my favorite spritzy toners um it, it comes in a just a it's got a little hole at the top there but i prefer to use my toners as a spritz so i transfer it into this spray bottle i think i buy these in home bargains or poundland one of those places um i've got several of them so yes i will just spritz that all over just to refresh my face next then i will move on to this product which is vitamin c now vitamin c is an ingredient that is very big in skincare at the moment it's become more and more popular but the problem with vitamin c from what i understand is that in liquid form once it, the air gets to it so once you've opened the bottle it has a very very short shelf life so i really like these capsules this is a beauty pie product the super active pure double vitamin c and vitamin e um super active capsules it's called and they come in a little tiny orange thingy like that you just twist the top off and it delivers the perfect amount for your face um so that's my next i don't that's my next step and then i follow that with a serum now i tend to rotate my serums i don't always use the same one at night and in the morning i've always got two different serums on the go and my two favorites are body shop drops of youth which is that one um, i've used this range almost since it came out a good long time and i really like it it's not the cheapest this is around 23 or something i think and you can um sometimes get it on offer on the body shop and sometimes if you google you can find it cheap i'll have a little google and i'll see if i can find it cheaper than that and link it below but um i really like this it's a very liquidy serum it comes with a little dropper like that as you can see that's almost 
it's uh, as i say on the liquidy end of serums but i really like it it's got a nice list of ingredients this was originally recommended by caroline hirons the skincare gu guru and i tried it and really liked it and as i said i've been using that one for years and the other serum i really like is the ordinary one which is called buffet and this again has great ingredients this is not expensive this is 12 pounds i think this one is now comes in a little bottle again a very similar um, delivery system it's got a pipette again a very similar consistency and full of nice ingredients this is called a multi-technology peptide serum serum why do these things have such long names but i really like this this has got lots of good stuff in it so those two are probably my most highly recommended serums i would say i've also got another one on the go which is a beauty pie triple hyaluronic acid one but i don't lipopeptide serum visible plumping i wouldn't say really there's any visible plumping going on i have to say i'm nearly at the end of it but i don't think i'd repurchase that one but these two are my go-to ones I like, I like to try different products every so often you know but these two are definitely my go to recommendations i'd buy these again and again and again my final step in the mornings is moisturizer to seal all that stuff in and moisturizer i'm using at the moment is the from the b range at superdrug again inexpensive and they very often have good um offers on this range is also cruelty free and vegan i believe the b range they have different ranges for different ages of skin which i quite like in a range i think we need different things in our skin as we age marks and spencers do the same with their um formula range i think it's called but this is better value for money and this is the be nourished day cream and it's from skin phase four as you can see there they have numbers for the different ranges of ranges and the, this this is the nourished range i can't remember what the others are called but um this has been a perfectly nice day cream i don't have any particular massive recommendations on moisturizer i think moisturizer is an area of skincare where you can get away with paying a little less because effectively it's there to seal all the other good stuff in that you've put on before if that makes sense so i don't tend to if i'm spent if i'm being a bit spendy with skincare i would prefer to do it with exfoliators and serums um than with a moisturizer so yeah this this one i've almost got to the end of it it's a perfectly nice day cream i wouldn't either recommend it or not recommend it but it's good value for money i would say it's a nice big pot it's also got an spf 25 in it um if that is something that you are looking for in a moisturizer i tend to use a separate spf in the summer but I, t but I tend to do that as part of my makeup routine hence i haven't included it in here i probably should have done but i haven't but um yeah so that's my final step in the morning and that is my morning skincare routine done so once i've got the majority of my makeup off with those two products i then move on to a cleanser and this is the body shop chamomile Clean sumptuous cleansing butter which is absolutely lovely i love the emma hardy cleansing balm as well the moringa one but that is really pricey now it's like four, i think the last time i bought it, it was about 35 pounds and i looked at it recently and it was 46 i don't know if that was a particularly big tub but that struck me as really pricey so i don't know i don't know if i buy that again i might do but i also love the beauty pie plantastic cleansing butter if you've got a beauty pie membership that's worth a try but this is 11 pounds and it's beautiful and loads of people use this and love it it feels so much more expensive that's what it looks like and it smells lovely as well and i just take a little bit on my finger and then massage it into my face um and that's it feels nice to do that it feels like really nourishing i think a cleanser needs to feel nourishing rather than stripping as we get older so i would very much recommend for over 50 skin to use a cleansing butter or a cleansing balm rather than something that will strip more so feel like this is quite nourishing then again i will take that off once i've massaged it in with one of these and the interesting point at this point you'd think that you've got all the makeup off your face with the micellar and the eye makeup remover it's amazing how much comes off how much more comes off in with one of these cloths so i do really like these cloths for that i think it really does get your 
face properly clean. Next step in the evening routine is exfoliating and this is one of my recommendations for exfoliating. I, I vary between a lotion and cotton wool and a pad, the ready-made pads. At the moment I'm using these which are the Beauty Pie glycolic pads. Uh, it says resurfacing, clarifying, perfecting with niacinamide and soothing polysaccharides, whatever that means. You know you're more scientific than me. I have no clue. But they're very pleasant. This one, the Pixie Skin Treats, is 5% glycolic acid exfoliating toner. Um, there's loads of exfoliating toners on the market now. This is one that I've used and gone back to. I've tried lots of different products for this again, but this is one that I've gone back to over the years. I've also got the Aldi version of this, which is much cheaper. This isn't hugely expensive, and Boots quite often do good offers. At the moment, Boots have got a third off all Pixie products, I think, at the time of filming. Um, so I'll link it below if that's still on but yeah this one I really recommend uh, alternatively if you want the pads um, nip and fab but do some really good ones that again I buy very regularly and I really like and the pads are great for travel as well because they're not liquid so you can put them in your hand luggage so that's good when we all get to travel again but yeah that's my next step then again I will go in with the spritzy toner that we talked about in the morning routine the vitamin E toner which is in this spritzy bottle and um, the other one that I've been using recently which I really like is the Thayer's Witch Hazel alcohol free toner and this is rose flavoured and um, this smells really very nice indeed it's not too strong a rose scent but when you spritz it you just get a nice gentle rose petal scent that sort of late summer scented roses in the garden it's really really nice so that one's not I think this one I got from Amazon it's not that easy to get hold of in this country but if I can find it I'll link it but um this one is a very good backup or, or alternative as well the body shop vitamin E <coughs> After that, we move on to serum. Um, again, we go back to the two that I recommended. I will alternate between these, the Body Shop Drops of Youth and the Ordinary Buffet. This one better value than that one, but this one's got more in it, of course. This has, I think that's a 50 mil and that's a 30 mil. So take that into account as well. Sometimes in the evening before serum, should have said this before, I will use one of these capsules. This is the Beauty Pie Super Active capsules. Again, similar to the vitamin C ones, and these are hyaluronic and, and biopeptide microspheres. No, hyaluronic and micropeptide microspheres. And they, again, are just little tiny capsules like that. These I probably use three times a week, um, not every single night. Again, I think it's good to change your routine up a little bit, not be put in the sun. I think your skin gets used to the same thing every night. In fact, Avon did some trials on a product they bought out a few years ago where it was a double, two different products in one type of thing, as serums, and you used one for one week and one the following week, and they felt that, I think the results of the trial came out that it was, it was good for the skin to have that changeover of different products and not have the same thing all the time. Um, my fi Finally, I need to use a moisturiser at night and currently I am using the Glow Recipe Sleeping Mask, Watermelon Sleeping Mask. This is I had been wanting to try this for the longest time and didn't buy it and didn't buy it. it was quite expensive in this country and then I bought it when I went to the States in December and I love it I didn't think I would love it as much as I do it's a let me just show you this it smells watermelony cucumbery and it's a sort of gel texture it's like that so it's not a moisturizer as it's not a moisturizer as in a cream it's a very lightweight watery gel feeling um moisturizer but it really does moisturize my skin when i first opened it i thought mm, that's going to be too it, it's not going to be full on enough for my old haggard dry dehydrated skin but in actual fact it is 
I would say it's more of a spring summer moisturiser than a winter moisturiser but I've been really enjoying this so much so that I've recently bought another product from this company the banana night cream which I haven't tried yet but I'm looking forward to trying but this one is a bit spendy but I think really worth it I really like the light feeling of it on my skin I think it's very moisturizing but very light right that's it I feel like I've bombarded you with a whole load of products there I hope it wasn't too um too much but as I say I'll, li I'll link everything in the description box below L let me know if you've got any skincare recommendations for us ladies of a certain age anything that you couldn't live without or recommend for me to try I always like your recommendations um that's it for today I'll see you again on Sunday thanks for watching bye bye